I pretty much use my mobile phone for everything these days. Checking my emails, shopping online, keeping in contact with family and friends, and I have come accustomed to using digital technology. And if I'm honest, I sometimes take it for granted. Unlike 62-year-old Jamie Baldwin from Gloucestershire. Come on. He's never had a mobile and is just one of the 1.7 million UK households who, according to Ofcom, don't have access to the internet. Losing his mum, as well as his job, has been tough on Jamie. I had to live off £200 a month. Wow, OK. And to run a phone on that and live off that is very hard. Not having a phone means it is hard for Jamie to keep in regular contact with family and friends. I've been through a very lonely time. In rural areas like this, a lack of access to digital technology isn't uncommon. But now different organisations are helping to bridge this digital divide. The charity Gloucestershire Rural Community Council is donating free phones and computer equipment. Over the past few months, it's also given out more than 10,000 SIM cards, enabling people to make free phone calls. Daniel Gale is its digital inclusion manager. They last for six months. People get unlimited calls, texts and 20 gigabytes of data. Because we're in the rural area, people assume that it's very affluent. However, there are areas of deprivation which are often overlooked. Daniel also runs courses helping people with online technology, working with other charities to target those most in need. 22-year-old Abs is partially sighted and says receiving a SIM card has had a huge impact on his life. When you didn't have your SIM card, what, what was it like? I was anxious and overwhelmed. It was really difficult, isolated, and it really disconnected me with the outside world. Today, Abs is collecting his very own refurbished laptop, which will allow him to access online training courses. This laptop's been set up with open source software to be disability inclusive. I feel like just having that laptop lifted all my troubles going forward, really. Digital hubs like this one are run in partnership with the NHS to tackle digital exclusion and get people using the NHS app to manage their repeat prescriptions and make appointments with their GP. I've got all the gear and no idea. <laughs> <laughs> at you the know? moment, at the moment. John actually put me the NHS things on it, we've managed to sign into all that, got all that sorted. I mean, there's that many different things on it, it's like a, like a minefield. When one is young, you can pick it up so easily. Yes. But when you're older, you can't. Jamie has dropped by for a lesson on how to use the phone he's been given by the charity and to pick up a brand new SIM card. So it means Jamie can connect with anybody in the UK through the mobile network or anybody worldwide through the data. A, a very special moment this then, isn't it? Yeah. Armed with his new digital skills, he's able to FaceTime his cousin Emma 200 miles away in Norwich. Hi, James. Hello, cousin. How are you, Em? You all right? Yes, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Do I look pretty? It's the first time I've done this. No, you look lovely. The last time I saw her was when I was in hospital. And she'd come down all the way from Norwich. It was brilliant. Don't cry, you make me cry, cos. <laughs> yeah, it's been very exciting, this has. Doing that has just made my day. Yeah. Being able to see her and that. Whilst our smartphones are something that we often take for granted, for people like Jamie, well, they can be a real lifeline. And this ever-changing world, technology can really help people, both young and old, connect with their family and friends wherever they are.